Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. This video is mainly for all the manual testers out there whose life sucks comparing tons of PDFs manually either by page to page printout or the old school all tab method. I am going to show you a tool that will make your PDF comparisons efficient, less time consuming and you can trick your boss by finishing your task before your peers task. So shh, don't let the secret out. So let's start by showing you the tool. The magic tool is called Beyond Compare. You can get the latest version of this tool by a simple Google download. The main mother software is called Scooter Series. So while downloading, you'll find a pop-up coming out called Scooter. So don't worry, you'll just let it download. Once you get it download, you'll find the Beyond Compare icon created on your desktop, which looks like somewhat this. Fire it up. So this is the UI of Beyond Compare. It's very user friendly. In fact, I'm using the latest version. So as the versions are developing, it is becoming much and much user friendly. So another trick, you can use Beyond Compare not only for PDF comparisons, but also for TXT comparisons and Excel comparisons. In fact, while playing around with the options, you'll also come to know that any type of extension files that you come across while doing manual testing you can drag those files in beyond compare and let it compare by itself so you can see here beyond compare consists of all these options folder compare folder merge folder sync text compare text merge and all these picture comparison mp3 compare no and what not so any two set of files that you get you can compare them whether they are of the same versions or different versions, you can get a difference comparison report based on the comparison results generated from this Beyond Compare tool. So today I'm going to show you the folder compare and text compare technique. So let me click on the folder compare. So on clicking, this is the UI of the folder comparison screen. As you can see, all these options available here are very user friendly. So the name of these options only suggests that what these options are supposed to do. These are the parts where you need to drag the two files, one of your baseline and one of your current file. This is the browse option. Let us browse. Uh, for demonstration purpose, I have just taken up two random files. This is my baseline folder. Let's browse this one. And this is my current folder. So as you can see, these are the contents of the two folders. You can have TXTs, Excels, MP3s, PDFs, whatever you want to compare. So when the two files that you choose to compare are of the same name, they appear side by side as you can see in this case. It doesn't matter whether it's a TXT or PDF. The only funda mm -hmm. is if it's of the same name, then they appear side by side. And if there is also a difference of a gap between the two names, then they appear like this. One up, sorry, one up and one down. This is same for all MP3 TXT or any kind of file comparison. So let me first show you if you want to compare two files, that are side by side. That means they are of the same name but contains different texts. So I'm clicking on it, the middle portion, the two files opens up. So these are the three options that you are mainly going to use while using Beyond Compare. All, Divs and Same. All means when you click this option, the entire content of the two PDFs gets displayed on both the sides. Entire content of baseline and entire content of current. But if your purpose is only to show the difference between the two PDFs, only the difference word, whether it's a difference of a full stop or a difference of an entire paragraph, you can see that by clicking on this divs option. By clicking on this, you will only get to see what is difference between the two PDFs. Scroll down and only the difference is what is getting displayed. The difference is getting displayed in the red highlights. And the same option denotes whatever is similar between the two PDFs. 
even if the similarity is of a full stop or uh, the similarity is of an entire page entire paragraph when you click on same only the similar portions get reflected on both the sides so these are quite easy and you can while doing hands on you can just get to know what these options are about so that is all about pdf compare let me show you uh, txt compare so these are the two txts that i have taken up for comparison so this is the middle portion for any sort of comparison you just need to select the two files click on the double click on the middle portion and open it up so as you can see these two txts when i click all the entire thing gets displayed with the differences highlighted in red but when i click difference diffs only the different portions get displayed see here the difference is only of three dots but still it is getting getting displayed here the difference is of three words it is also getting displayed so when i use the tool i generally use the diffs because if i need to see the entire pdf then i can very well do it manually but the main uh, utility of the on compare is to see what is the difference between the two pdfs and so the diffs option is mainly used same is for the pdf uh, contents that are common between the two pages so on clicking same none of the difference will be shown only the similar portions will be shown so that is of text comparison similarly by using similar method you can compare excels you can compare mp3s you can compare any kind of file hcs mcs any kind of file that you need to compare now just a short explanation if the two files are not side by side i mean there is a naming difference between the two files how will you compare click on any one of the file whether on the baseline or on the current right click this list opens up click on compare to when you click compare to you can see a question mark is attached to a cursor directly hit and click the file that you want to compare with this file so i want to compare this with this so i'm clicking this so the two files open up now you can see that this is this has got a conversion error this is also another utility that i need wanted to show you guys conversion error is shown when any kind of file whether it's a pdf or an excel or anything is password protected if the files are password protected then the contents won't be displayed on beyond compare you need to open up that file manually go to the file properties unsecure the file by removing the password and then come back to beyond compare to see the contents password protected files cannot be opened in beyond compare any other kinds of file which are unsecure not password protected you can compare them easily using beyond compare so i think whatever i have explained in beyond compare is pretty well clear to you guys if you have any more questions left you can jolly well leave down your questions in the comment section below and then get it answered very quickly this tool is really a so solution for all the manual testers out there use the tool impress your boss and get your next appraisal with a great hi that's all guys subscribe to my channel to get to know more of such tricks and tips of testing and technology i'll be coming up with more such interesting videos so stay tuned like and subscribe to my channel that's all thank you